Olivia Wilde takes Liam Neeson's robe. That was pretty funny. Third Person is written and directed by Paul Haggis, stars a cast of Mila Kunis, Liam Neeson, Adrian Brody, Olivia Wilde, Kim Basinger, Maria Bello, Moran Atias, and James Franco. And this follows three interconnected love stories that take place in New York, Paris, and Rome. So, Michael is a Pulitzer Prize winning fiction author who has held himself up in a hotel suite in Paris to finish his latest book. He has recently left his wife Elaine and he's having an affair with Anna who is a journalist who wants to write and publish fiction. At the same time, Scott, a shady American businessman, is in Italy to steal designs from fashion houses. Hating everyday Italian, he meets uh, Scott, he wanders into the Cafe American and searches just something familiar to eat. There he meets Monica, who is a beautiful Roma woman, who is about to be reunited with her young daughter. When the money she has saved to pay her daughter's smuggler is stolen, Scott feels compelled to help, and they take off together for a ta dangerous town in southern Italy, where Scott starts to suspect that he is the patsy in an elaborate con game. And then the next one is Julia, and she's a soap opera actress, and she's caught in a custody battle for her six-year-old son with her ex-husband, who is a famous New York artist. With her child support cut off and her legal costs ruinous, Julia is reduced to working as a maid in the same upscale boutique hotel where she was once frequent guest. So her lawyer has secured Julia one final chance to change the court's mind and be reunited with the child she loves. And his current girlfriend, Sam, is a compassionate onlooker. So you have three different stories that deals with the beginning, middle, and end of a relationship. Now, Boobop 1987, she calls this the Oh Heck No movie. <laughs> And I can understand why she didn't like it, but I honestly don't see the hate for this one. I can, yes, I can see where oh, some of the problems lie. Um, I do think that the film goes on for a little bit too long, 2 hours, 17 minutes, but at the same time, I was sitting there watching it, I was like, hey... I don't mind the length here. It, um, I thought the direction here was pretty good for the most part. And the writing in some areas is a little off putting in a lot of moments. But there are moments where I'm sitting there like, is this movie really that bad as people saying it is? And then I said to myself, no. Also, I feel like that the one there's one story involving Adrian Burke's character I didn't it gets also a good start, but it doesn't really like it doesn't really like meh. But for the most part, I will say I did get enjoyment out of the story that 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 one was going. Acting wise in this movie is good. You got Liam Neeson; he's always great. Um, Olivia Wilde, of course, from Tron Legacy. One of my favorite celebrity crushes. <laughs> And you also got Maria Bello, Kim Basinger in here. They're all the acting in this movie is great, but the standout here is Olivia Wilde and Liam Neeson. They were great. 
You also got David Harewood. If you're not familiar with David Harewood, he plays Martian Manhunter on Supergirl, which I still have to do season three, my season three review. Mm -hmm. Also, I I think that yeah, he is a pretty is a pretty interesting thing to do. And also I do like the music in here. I like the cinematography in here. The part where where literally he just take takes this where Olivia Wilde takes this rogue. I was laughing, but at the same time, I was like, oh, heck no, you didn't. <laughs> it was just a fun, curious, it was just a cool moment. If you've, seen, if you've seen the movie or seen clips, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> also, I kind of felt like the ending was a little, oh, heck no. So I kind of felt like that was... Oh heck no moment. But overall, I I actually think this is a pretty interesting film. I can see why some people don't like it, but a lot of people don't like it. But I like I like this movie, and I'm gonna give this movie a highly recommend it for the good acting, for the entertaining performances, for a lot of good stuff that this movie has to offer so let me know what you guys think of third person down below I know Rebecca aka Boobot 1987 she doesn't like the movie and I can respect that I can respect that but if there's anyone who does like the movie and finds it underrated like myself you can comment down below we can talk about it I'll see you guys in the next video you guys Keep it cool. This is Future for Make Drive 4A0 sign out.